morning, good morning, good morning. It's another beautiful day. And we just want to give God praise and thanks. And we want to meditate upon His Word for just a while. So let us look at a passage of Scripture. And then we are going to elaborate to some extent as we have our morning devotion. Psalms 37 verse 7 according to the New International Version tells us, Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways. Let us have a word of prayer. Uh, We thank you, dear Father, for our spared life. We thank you for your love. We thank you for uh, being in the land of the living, whereby we can once more just come into your presence and meditate. Take full control of this morning's devotion, we pray. We thank in Jesus' name. Now, I must let you know that the King James Version of Psalms 37 verse 7 tells us, Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Fret not thyself because of Him who prospereth in His way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. So it would appear to be slightly different, but it's saying very much the same thing. The one reason we get into a hurry and make bad decisions is that we think we are falling behind. Our friend is getting married. Our co-worker got promoted. Or neighbor moved into a new house. We feel we are being left out and a need to make things happen. Some people feel they have to compromise themselves to keep a relationship or get a position. If you have to compromise your values, it is never right and will only lead to harm. What God has put your name on is not going to go to anyone else. What belongs to you will not go to another person. Do not be impatient for God to act. Keep a good attitude. Keep growing. Keep passing the test. What God has for you is on the way. You are being prepared for what God has prepared for you. The reason it is taking so long is that it will be much bigger and more fulfilling than you thought. When you see what God does, you will see it was worth the wait. Yes, this is God working for you. He doesn't want you to get over anxious. He doesn't want you to rush the process. He wants you to wait upon Him and fret not. Take it easy. God knows what is best and it delivers to you on time. So, dear Father, we just give you praise and thanks once more that you do not want us to fret, you do not want us to get anxious. You want us to wait upon you because you are going to deliver to us what is best for us at the appointed time. Thank you, dear Father, for being so good to us. May we not become over-anxious, but wait upon you with the assurance that you are going to come true. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.